A recent trip to Italy and a luxury retreat in Toronto by officials in Ontario's education ministry. Two trips under scrutiny. And the reason, the cost to taxpayers, totaling more than $145,000. CTV's Adrian Gobriel is here with what this says about school board spending. Adrian. Sandy, funding public education is a struggle across Canada. And now staff at a Catholic school board in Brantford, Ontario, have all agreed to pay back travel expenses for a trip they took to Italy in the summer, where they went to buy multiple pieces of artwork for a new school. Several pieces of artwork, including a life-sized, hand-painted wooden statue of St. Padre Pio, are said to have cost $100,000. Four trustees from the Southern Ontario Catholic School Board in question went on the trip to see the works of art for themselves at a cost of $45,000. It's an expense that has caught the attention of the Ontario government as well as the Catholic Teachers Association Union. My first thoughts were, you know, this seemed like a needless expense. I mean, I can understand, you know, wanting to get artwork for it to enhance the Catholicity of a new school, but it didn't require four trustees to travel to Italy to do that. The chair of the Board of Trustees has expressed regret, saying in part that each trustee, including myself, who participated in the trip has agreed to repay all the expenses incurred to the board. Additionally, with regard to the Catholic statues we commissioned, we were exploring other non-board funding options to help offset the costs. This comes at a time of heightened scrutiny in London, Ontario. Senior staff and superintendents at that public school board took a summer team building trip to Toronto's Rogers Centre Hotel at a cost of $40,000. Speaking virtually from a boardroom, the new interim director of education for Thames Valley says some staff have now been put on leave while an operational review is conducted. We use public funds for public education and we have to be so diligent in terms of maximizing educational outcomes in a fiscally responsible manner. The staff in London, Ontario have all agreed to pay back their travel expenses using their professional development funds. Now to put the financial picture into focus, that school board is currently running a $7.6 million deficit. Sandy. All right, Adrian, thank you.